Hi everyone, my name is Victoria, I'm the social media contributor to CORE and welcome to another episode of CORE Academy. Now that we've covered mining, let's discuss a related topic, hash rate. Hash rate uh, is a word that's thrown around a lot, but people sometimes have uh, only a fuzzy idea of what it means. In this video, we're going to clear up any confusion, telling you exactly what hash rate is, why it matters, and how it's measured. So let's get started. What is hash rate? As we discussed in our how to mine Bitcoin video, mining involves the search for Bitcoin block header that has certain properties. Specifically, miners are trying to discover a block header that has a predetermined number of leading zeros in its hash. This hash is produced during each mining attempt when the block header and the current nonce are processed through the SHA-256 algorithm. As you might have guessed, the hash rate refers to the rate at which new hashes are produced. Though it's common to refer to the hash rate of the entire Bitcoin network, it can also be measured for an individual mining rig or a mining pool. Why the hash rate matters? Since the hash rate captures how many attempts are made per second to find the block with the correct properties, when more computers join the network and start mining, the hash rate goes up. An increasing hash rate means a few things. First, it means that network is more secure. When more computers are actively involved in the mining process, the ledger is harder to dispute, and 51% attacks become more challenging and expensive. It also means that mining itself becomes harder. If there were only one computer mining Bitcoin, then it would always win, but the network dynamically adjusts its difficulty as more machines are added. A rising hash rate indicates a more computational power being used to mine Bitcoin blocks, which in turn means each individual miner has less of a chance of winning. Of course, the opposite is also true. When the hash rate falls, there are fewer computers attempting to mine blocks, which means it's easier for any particular miner to win. But this also means that the network is less secure and more vulnerable to 51% attacks. Blockchains like Bitcoin adjust the difficulty up or down depending on how much compute is being thrown at mining new block. The network is calibrated so that it takes about 10 minutes to mine a new block on average. So if there is a spike of new computers trying to mine the difficulty, it's adjusted up to account for the added hash rate and vice versa. So how to measure the hash rate? You may hear different measurements thrown around for a hash rate, and we'll cover those now. Remember that a hash is a guess about the header for the next block. If one such guess were submitted per second, the hash rate would be just one. A kilo hash per second is 1000 hashes per second, and this is considered a very low hash rate. A mega hash per second is a million hashes per second and this would generally be achievable by one CPU or GPU working alone. A group of GPUs, by contrast, would probably be able to hit a giga hash per second or a billion hashes per second, while an ASIC chip or a mining pool would be reaching a tera hash per second or a trillion hashes per second. Believe it or not, there are even levels above this. A very large mining pool could be achieving a pita hash per second, or a quadrillion hashes per second. And an entire blockchain network in aggregate could have an exa hash per second, which is quantillion hashes per second. To conclude, I hope you found this video interesting. You should now have more context about how blockchain mining works and how the hash rate figures into it. Be sure to check out other videos from our channel uh, where you can find information about like crypto, core chain and many other things. So don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.